Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me for your reading for this month. I'm Adriana and although I love doing these YouTube readings, I also really love giving one-on-one -on -one readings, channeling guidance one-on-one -on -one for your own journey. So if you're in need of a reading, please examine, look at the description below and there's more information for you there. All right, we are going to start, we're going to get one card from each deck for the crown. The Basically, the energy that is behind you right now that is creating the context and the situation that you find yourself in. So this is like the be seen, behind the scenes, be seen, behind the scenes crowning energy. All right, we've got be gentle with yourself. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, and then from our fairy deck. Justice. Okay, interesting. So the way right now, Aquarius, you feel a little blind, a little blindfolded in the way forward, which, so there's like this, I'm not sure which way to go. And um, I feel like some of you are really struggling with pressure, putting a lot of pressure on yourselves to figure out which way to go and pushing and pushing and trying to come up with that answer it's really it's antithesis and antagonistic to this um, be gentle with yourself card it's feeling like the best thing you can do is actually to relax and sit back there's an opening that's happening here this is kind of in this cave so when you relax and stop trying so hard to figure out which way to go and who's right and who's wrong, who's in the right and who's in the wrong, this door will open for you when you kind of back off and you're just a little bit more in tune and aware of yourself, aware of what's going on with you, especially physically. Yeah, there's a lot, there's, it's funny, there's a lot coming up. We haven't even done the other cards yet, but there's this deeper need to really listen to yourself and to, to understand that you're pushing the wrong way, that you're trying to force a particular direction and that's not the direction that you really want. But it's the direction you think you want because it seems like it would be fair. It seems like it would be um, like justice, like it would be just to go that direction. But if you're really quiet and gentle and honest with yourself, you're going to see that the inner truth of your desired direction is much different than the direction you've been pushing for. This card has this inner water going on and there's a pathway so she's looking at it on so that inner water to me is like this inner emotion the deepest most protected emotion or the most vulnerable part of yourself that wants to start charting its way forward um, and so it's asking you to give time and give a little bit of space for that energy in yourself is this other you know it's really it keeps coming back into my my mind this energy that you're going through Aquarius it feels almost militant it feels very mm, kind of like a, a sag on fire kind of energy very righteous you know, we have to do it this way energy we have to figure this out it's it's really aggressive it's really pushing and it's the opposite that we need right now. All right, and your other card, Princess of Wands, huh? Speaking of Sag, here's a, a potential Sagittarius energy, although sometimes this is more Aries, but it can actually be any of the fire signs. But instead of push, trying to push through these closed and locked doors, this is about opening yourself up to different possibilities and opening yourself up to 
a different flow, a different path. I feel like the Princess of Wands is searching for this path here. The water is searching for a path as well. So it's, it's like your heart, your passion is searching for a different way out. But your mind keeps kind of going over and over and over these options and trying to go through one door, not through this door, through that door, but not. And it's just not working. Those doors remain closed. And that's just it, Aquarius. The doors remain closed. All right. So let's see what what is the obstacle here? Okay, we're gonna look at obstacle, which is queen of fire. Interesting. So again, another fire energy. And then she came up reversed. So that's interesting as well. I just wanna pull out the rest so we kinda of get the overview. Okay, do I switch decks? Yeah. All right, and then the missing piece. Missing piece, Princess of Pentacles. So we're kind of getting back down to the ground and then final wisdom. Okay, come on. They're sticking together. Oh. This is inner truths. Perfect, right? We were talking about finding this pathway, finding this path to the inner world, the inner realm that's starting here and that is coming here. So this is this brings us full circle, but we're not quite through the, the circle yet. Okay, so obstacle, queen of fire. And she came out this way, failure to act, failure to align with your health and your passion and with your creative mind. This energy likes to get lost in bickering. This energy likes to get lost in... Um, not so much debating what's right, but manipulating things behind the scenes so that they are seen as right. And this may be someone in your environment, but it also may be mirroring an action that you're doing with yourself because our justice card is trying to figure out what is right, but because you cannot figure out what's right, that energy doesn't know what to do. And so it's like I can either hit myself against a wall or I can try to make someone else make a stand so that I can either be against them or before them, but I'll at least know. So it's involving people in ways that are kind of backwards. It's like you're trying to force them to be sounding boards or something to push away from, something to rebel against, something to push off of, you're trying to turn them into that rather than just knowing what direction you want to go yourself. And what's really interesting in this reading, Aquarius, is we don't have anyone else. In all of these cards, there's only one figure in them. One figure, one figure, one, one. Even in this one, the ending one, so the be gentle with yourself had the support of all these beautiful animals, but your final one has no one else on it. It's just you. So this is really more about your journey within and with yourself than it is about shifting or navigating a different relation with someone else. Okay, now the missing piece, Princess of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles is a grounded energy. She's feet on the ground and okay, so there has been, there's been a little shift in fortune. There's been a little shift in something going your way and you've forgotten about it or it's, you haven't paid attention to it because because you've been so busy trying to figure out which way to go, what to do, how to go. And the other problem, the other thing that's going on is that your your justice keeps trying to push you to go on an adventure. To, that, <laughs> 
this justice card in the middle here wants you to leave where you are. She wants to go on an adventure. She's going deeper within herself, but it's pushing you away from where your current situation is, where the Princess of Pentacles is saying, stay right here, look right here, look at what's in front of you. So let me clarify what else about the Princess of Pentacles, what's right in front of Aquarius that they need to see. Four of fire, stability, creativity, the ability to recreate and to re recreate yourself, rebirth yourself. This is also a card of celebration. It's like, it's almost like celebrate where you are, but I feel like with these two plus this, rather than going out this is about going in rather than trying to change where you are change your external situation this is about going inside and asking and looking for that inner inner guidance inner wisdom because where you are trying to go on the outside is not aligned with where your soul wants you to go on the inside and what's interesting is I know I talked to you at the beginning of this reading about, oh, you're feeling blind, the blindfold Aquarius, but what happens when you have a blindfold on? You can't see the outside world. The only way you can look is inward. And so this is less about trying to figure out what to do next or where to go next and more about spending time in that inner world. And as I'm looking more deeply at this card, and I'll show you, there's so many different worlds here. Right, you've got the tropics back there, and that is the gentleness. When you're gentle with yourself, you have access to that warmth, to that um, wonder, and all that color, and all of that embracing energy. There's also the winter time, so there's some clarity that you'll be finding when you go in. Then we have this beautiful, I think this is a forest. Yeah, so this is a force. So you have the richness of your past experiences and what you're trying to grow. And there's many more things. There's a lot of layers on this card. But ultimately, do you see this face up here? There's a secret face into the sky. So you, this is the, the window into your higher self, into your soul. And there's more that you're being asked to discover from within. And in the extended reading, which I will tell you how to get to in a second, I'm going to go into these different directions. What are the areas that you're being asked to look at inside, you know, more specifically than just going within? What questions are you supposed to ask yourself as you go in? Okay, but in the meantime, so as I said, the extended reading, the link is in the description below. So all you have to do is click on that. It'll take you right there. The being gentle with yourself, this, this is really something to take in because being harsh with yourself or being judgmental, being frustrated or impatient disenfranchises you, it tears you apart from yourself and it doesn't give you the clarity you're seeking, all right? If you're going through a hard time, it's all right. Let yourself feel the compassion you have for yourself and then the answers will start coming in that openness. So once again, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one guidance, please check out my website description below. Also, as I said, link to the extended is below. And I will look forward to seeing you again soon.